Privatio Boni is a fundamental doctrine of the Christian aeon. The basic idea of the Privatio Boni principle is that evil has no existence of its own. It is merely an absence of the good. Hence, the outcome of the doctrine is that all good comes from God and all bad from man. Jung points out very explicitly that the Privatio Boni percept is based on a petitio principia, a begging of the question which means philosophically that one slips an assumption, the assumption of what one is trying to prove, into an argument at the beginning. And so, the answer is assumed in advance. In this case, it is done by defining God as good and defining all existing things as necessarily good because they are created by a good God. A good God, by this definition, is not capable of creating evil. Thus, a metaphysical assumption is smuggled into the discussion at the beginning. Jung makes a great deal of this issue of the privatio boni. He writes, Psychology does not know what good and evil are in themselves. It knows them only as judgments about relationships. Good is what seems suitable, acceptable, or valuable from a certain point of view. Evil is its opposite. If the things we call good are really good, then there must be evil things that are real too. It is evident that psychology is concerned with a more or less subjective judgment, that is, with a psychic antithesis that cannot be avoided in naming value relationships. There are things which from a certain point of view are extremely evil, that is to say, dangerous. There are also things in human nature which are very dangerous and which therefore seem proportionately evil to anyone standing in their line of fire. It is pointless to gloss over these evil things because that only lulls one into a sense of false security. Human nature is capable of an infinite amount of evil and the evil deeds are as real as the good ones so far as human experience go and so far as the psyche judges and differentiates between them. Only unconsciousness makes no difference between good and evil. This tells us that the clear and unambiguous distinction between good and evil is an attribute of egohood. Jung goes on to say, Today, as never before, it is important that human beings should not overlook the danger of the evil lurking within them. It is unfortunately only too real, which is why psychology must insist on the reality of evil and must reject any definition that regards it as insignificant or actually non-existent. Psychology is an empirical science and deals with realities. Jung's basic point is that the reality of good and evil is based on the judgment of the conscious ego. Only unconsciousness makes no distinction. We could say that the privatio boni is a kind of unconscious trick of the Christian psyche which pulls a curtain over the eyes of the ego regarding the reality of evil. Jung is doing his very best to analyze this collective complex in the Christian psyche. His efforts in this regard include not only his criticism of Privatio Borni but his criticism of the definition of God as the ultimate good. His whole approach has encountered massive resistance, which indicates that a deeply rooted, well-established complex has been touched. The resistance indicates that the reality Jung is pointing out is so horrible that it has to be denied. Jung writes, as long as evil is a non-entity, nobody will take his own shadow seriously. Hitler and Stalin go on representing a mere accidental lack of perfection. The future of mankind very much depends upon the recognition of the shadow. Evil is terribly real. It is a fatal mistake to diminish its power and reality, even merely metaphysically. I am sorry. This goes to the very roots of Christianity. Evil verily does not decrease by being hushed up as a non-reality or as mere negligence of man.